Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mohamed al mudiaki and Ivan Sharic. This is a game from Chess Olympiad played in Baku in 2016. Play with white pieces, Mohamed al mudiaki is representing Qatar. He is Qatar's champion. And play with black pieces, Ivan Sharic is representing Croatia. He is Croatian champion. Muhammad al Almodiaki started with e4. Ivan Sharic played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, and now bishop to b5 check. Some call it Moscow variation and some call it canal variation. Knight to d7, sometimes black plays bishop to d7. d4, c takes on d4, queen takes on d4. A6 attacking the bishop, bishop takes knight, check. Bishop takes bishop, c4, taking firm control of d5 square. Knight to f6, bishop to g5, e6. Muhammad al modiaki castled, kingside. h6 attacking the bishop, bishop takes knight, queen takes bishop, e5. If queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, and black would do well in the endgame with a bishop pair. That is why Muhammad al modiaki played e5. d takes on e5, knight takes on e5. Black to move. Now this is very interesting. Sharic, castle, queenside. Knight to c3. Bishop to e8, discovered attack on white queen. Queen to e3, bishop to d6, threatening, bishop takes knight, defending the knight. White knight is coming to e4, that is why Sharic played queen to e7. Knight to e4, attacking the bishop, bishop to c7, saving the bishop and keeping the king safe. Who is better? White or black? Black has a bishop here, but black king seems to be more exposed. Or maybe that is just an illusion. c5, king to b8, rook from f to d1. Black to move. How would you continue now in this position if you had black pieces? Well, black can't just sit and wait for pawn storm on the queen side. He has to do something on the opposite wing. So Sharic played g5, undermining the defender of the knight and threatening to open g file. Knight to d6. If f takes on g5, bishop takes on e5. So we have knight to d6. Well, the knight looks well placed there f6, attacking the knight on e5, knight from e to c4, pawn takes pawn on f4, attacking the queen, queen takes pawn, bishop to c6, this is now interesting, this bishop is aiming on g2 pawn, combination with the rook on g5, could be a problem for white, definitely maybe. But Modiaki thought it could be a problem, so he is defending g2 pawn. Rook from h to g8. b4, intending, a4, b5, and crashing through. Rook to g5, a4, here they come. b5 is next. How to stop b5? Hmm? Is it possible? Attack is the best defense, sometimes. Queen to g7, and there is no time for b5. Queen to f1, adding one more defender. Well, if b5 is played, then the rook takes on g2, and black is winning. So we have queen to f1, defending the pawn. Black to move. e5 is next. How to stop this now? Man, Sharic found a brilliant move to stop b5. He played f5. 
What is the purpose of this move? And how is this stopping b5? Muhammad al Mudiaki played rook from a to a2. Well, if b5, then rook takes on g2. Check. Rook takes rook, bishop takes rook, queen takes bishop, now queen to d4, check, king to f1, queen takes rook, black is winning. That is why Muhammad al modiaki played rook from a to a2, bishop to d5, rook from a to c2, well, if b5, f4, pawn takes pawn f3, and black is winning. Rook from a to c2 f4, threatening f3, winning the game. But what is defending the pawn? Nothing. Or maybe something. Maybe there is a tactic. Modiaki captured the pawn. Why did Sharit sacrifice the pawn? Maybe he doesn't like his pawn. Or maybe he prepared something there. How would you continue? If you had black pieces, please pause and find the best move for black. This is a winning move. Rook to f8. And white queen can't go to f1 to defend. Pawn on g2. And how to save the queen? The best move is the one played in the game. It takes rook. If white tries to save the queen, then he loses the game. Because of the problem on the first rank. Queen to a1 check and game is lost. There is no defense. Unbelievable. So we have queen takes rook, check, queen takes queen, rook to f2 attacking the queen, queen to g7, knight to b6, bishop takes knight. The reason why Sharic captured that knight, you will see shortly why. C takes on d6, black to move, black played the move when white resigned. The move is, Sharic played the queen to a1, and Modiaki resigned in view of this continuation. Rook to f1, and now queen to d4, check, winning the knight. And we can stop here. Very nice win by Sharic with black pieces. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.